Okay, guys, we're back for another Dokkan battle video. We've got a really short JP data download. In the data download, all we had is the Easy A info for the Tech LR Ginyu Force unit, and then, of course, Age of Golden Freezer's Easy A, as well as his Easy A category weakness. I mean, very quickly, I'm not going to spend too much time talking about Freezer. I just feel like a lot of people are going to downplay him because he was clearly designed for Super Battle Red, right? Because of his attack debuffing. Remember, when he's facing a super class enemy, He's going to be de debuffing them essentially by 22%, which is very big, right? Especially if you factor in other damage reduction items or, you know, the items such as uh, Android A, which increases defense by 50%. Um, the thing that I, I probably am not the biggest fan of with this Freezer um, is that, I mean, I say I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan. I think what they should have done is they should have really doubled down on that. And so maybe throw in like a medium chance to stun it on super or maybe even like a high chance to stun through the passive i mean that would, would probably be best right because it's a 50 50 percent chance to stun uh, and that way he's not really broken because it'll only last for the turn if he does pop it off and i think that would have really cemented this guy's place as like a top tier super battle road unit um but yeah overall solid uh, definitely not a unit you want to take into the red zone right the calcs have been done in fact we actually did some calcs yesterday in, in yesterday's video i think for the most part if you do if you are able to get his full passive or his max passive off, i.e. he's facing a super class enemy so he gets the extra defense, I think for the most part he's going to be sitting around 300k defense, which, uh, I mean, I say 300, I think it's like 350. On a 200% leader skill, that should jump up to like 380, which is still not, I think, good enough in the red zone. But, like, I, I've used physical wearers in the red zone, right? Like that guy. Um, and he gets smacked as well. Of course, he's a bit of a different unit because he's, changing orbs uh you heal a lot right once you start using the LR super Saiyan fours um and so maybe that's not the best comparison but i think if a unit like him you can get away with using him in the red zone who has i think a lot lower defense and i think freezer as like a final option on the team will be solid but yeah definitely a unit you want to use uh in super battle road very quickly we also got his um category weakness so it's ally of justice uh, I mean, I think this was actually unveiled before, but I just, for some reason, I didn't notice it. So you want to use physical units, right? So this physical um, Super Saiyan 1 Goku, the Zeno Goku is very good. Uh, Super Saiyan 4 Vegito. Uh, okay, I was going to say Casserole, but Casserole, he wants to be next to the Universe 11 character. I mean, I know Jiren's type effective, but um, probably not the best unit to use. Um, it seems actually a lot of a lot of what this unit is comprised, I say comprised, but this team is comprised of or successful physical units to to use for this stage will be the the super dragon ball heroes units or the the xeno units essentially right those types of units fusion crossover um okay this guy's a pretty good support unit union and easy a union and easy a trp 17 is good but you, you, there's not really any other androids on this team shocking speed as well as what you'd want although i think actually a lot of these gohans do have shocking speed and his key support will be very good yeah i think for the most part it's be fairly easy if you don't have Adele, again, you can run Super Saiyan for Vegito. Uh, could you get away? I think you could get away with a Jiren lead, right? Yeah, like Jiren, uh, bring you, bring you, that's three. Just, what the hell, throw Krillin on there, that's four. Um, turn of power, I mean, they are on the, the USS team, aren't they? I think they are, so that's five. And then you, you can throw an STR Jiren for the lols, right? I feel like this would be fairly easy. So that is the, the Ally of Justice team. That is the category weakness. What is it ideally that you want to use? Um... Uh, super tech extreme agl extreme tech extreme internet yeah so pretty much every super typing except super tech is what you want to use which is pretty obvious pretty basic pretty standard stuff um and then yeah we move on to the tech lr ginyu goku ginyu force easy a so uh leader skill is now four key 130 i've seen actually some people complaining that it should have been four key 150 i think i'm fine with it like uh, i don't know like maybe they should have bumped it up to four key 150 because the you know the friend system sucks and for those who don't have Age or Captain Ginyu, you can't really run the team at its, I suppose, max capacity. Although, would a 4 key 150 even be good enough? It's hard to say. Uh, super attack effect greatly raises attack and defense for one turn. Does colossal damage, which is crazy. He then, on the Ultra Super, also greatly raises attack and defense for one turn. Causes colossal damage, or mega colossal, sorry. And then raises extreme class as attack by 30% for one turn. Correct me if I'm wrong, but if we take a look at, uh, let's see, Metal Cooler... Just want to very quickly take a look at Metal Cooler. Where is he? Because like I swear he didn't get as much of a of an improvement, right? In his EZA. Uh 
yeah, he raises defense for one turn. This is they they straight up just gave Ginyu, uh, you know what? Screw it. We're gonna give you fifty percent attack and defensive raise on both your super attack effects. I think you want to go max additionals, right? Because you're not gonna use this guy for damage purposes, but that's already very good super attack effects. And then the passive reads three key, fifty nine percent attack and defense at the start of turn. He then gets an additional ten percent attack and defense up to fifty nine percent per Ginyu Force category ally in the team. That's that's pretty easy to do. That's not a hard restriction or condition. And then Extreme Class Allies gets 30% attack and defense. Then Ginyu Force Category Allies get 29% attack and defense. That's crazy. Let's just go add up his percentages. So he's got 60% here. Another 60% there, so that's 120. Uh, it gets 30% there, so that's 150. And then a 29%, so essentially like 180. So on the Ginyu Force team, this guy's rocking 180% attack and defense. That's absurd. And then he's getting 50% attack and defense on both super attack effects, whilst also raising... Everyone's attacked by 30% for one turn as well. The only thing that he doesn't have here is some sort of tech, right? Um, utility, like, when I mean tech, I mean stunning, sealing, evasion, attack, debuffing. But does he really need it if he's giving 60% attack and defense to the whole Ginyu Force team? What's actually big about this, I've actually pulled up the Dokkan Link tool. He shares 5 out of 7 with Captain Ginyu. So essentially, you now have, I don't know, like 3 units on this team who are just providing a hell of a support buff, right? The tech ally Ginyu Force unit... Is now giving like 60% attack and defense. By the way, this Int, Jason, Berta pretty much do the same thing as well. I think their 30% attack and defense first is to Space Traveling Warriors. And then the additional 30% attack and defense is to the Ginyu Force team. And then, of course, you have the physical ally Ginyu, who I suppose we can pull him up as well very quickly. Where is he? Should be a bit lower actually on this list. Physical ally Ginyu, physical ally Ginyu, physical ally Ginyu. Where are you? Oh, here you are. How much do you get? I think it's like 30% attack and defense. Yeah, but he's still giving like all allies three key and thirty percent attack and defense as well as rainbow orb changing. Honestly, like he's a bit, he's a, I think, yeah, this tech ally Ginyu Force unit is much better, I think, than this physical ally Ginyu Force unit, right? Yeah, I feel like that's an apt assessment just because like his percentages are a lot higher. And his his super attack effects are a lot better as well. Wow, this this is absurd. This is like the best I think free to play LR in the game right now, right? Yeah, it won't be for too long. Watch when watch once LRVB, SDR LRVB gets his EZA during the, the World War celebration. That boy's going to start cooking. But yeah, this is crazy. Like, they've literally given, like, they've really made sure that the Ginyu Force team is, like, one of the best teams in the game. I suppose the only issue right now, or I say right now, but in the foreseeable future, is that the Ginyu Force team now is going to be very, I don't want to say lackluster, but the Guinea Force team will now be good for like the next year or so. After that, uh, all of these units have now received their easy A's. Um, I suppose it's not really the biggest thing, right? Like there's like so many different ways that they could recreate these Ginyu Force units, right? Or Ginyu cards or Ginyu Force cards, right? We did see the Ginyu Force in, um, I think it was like in the, the filler, right? In Dragon Ball Z, the other world, uh, when they're fighting Pycon. So that's, uh, potentially some more Ginyu Force units that they could use. We sort of have a Togoma or Ginyu in Togoma's body. Um, Ginyu also made an appearance in Bulma's body, right? So there's still a few things that they could do for the team. But wow, this team is insane now. Because you, the other thing that you have to look at is whilst you can argue the link set is kind of mid, uh, they the whole team is just sharing like all of these links. And some of these links are pretty good, right? Like 25% attack and then a 5% chance to perform a crit. And like the two key and five percent damage reduction is pretty good once all these units are around like the three hundred k, two hundred k defensive. I say two hundred k, no, it's like three hundred k defensive mark. And I don't really have the time to calculate this guy's stats, but yeah, this guy is going to be very. I think he'll be very easily over four hundred k with like a double super or something. Especially if you're rocking as I, as we mentioned earlier, the other support units for this team, like the the Inter Jace and Berta, uh, Rakuma Gold are already good. They don't support, but they are very good. Um, and of course, I mean, Captain Ginyu himself gives a support buff, right? Like, imagine a rotation where you have Jason Burr, Captain Ginyu, and then, of course, the, the LR Tech Ginyu Force. That rotation's absurd because they're going to be getting, what, like 120% attack and defense? And then Captain Ginyu himself, he gives a bit of support, doesn't he? Yeah, he gives 30% himself. Wow. This is crazy. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't want to waffle on too long. Uh, this this team is now insane. This Tech LR Ginyu Force unit is insane. I don't know what they'll kind of done. They didn't give anything else as good as a treatment, but hey, I'm all for it, right? At least like one of these unhyped or unpopular characters pretty much <laughs> receives a very good amount of, of buff. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, that's pretty much it, right? Yeah, the Integral Golden Freezer EZA, the EZA Era for the Ginyu Force, and then, yeah, ESBR Stage 34, that's the Universe 6 stage. So that's going to be coming out alongside the EZAs. That should be dropping, I think, at the same time. Yeah, it will be dropping tomorrow, so 
essentially this is dropping 26 hours of me as of me recording this video so thank you guys for watching when you guys think of these busted easy a's freeze is good uh, but this guy's busted beyond belief and i'll catch you guys in the next one